I'm Mike Les, and I like farming. And of course, breakfast by my wife. Hey everyone, Mike Les here. It's Thursday morning, October 10th. I got that date right this morning. Anyways, uh, back down here in Preble County, we got about 10 acres of corn to finish here. You can see it's a little bit foggy here this morning, so we're just getting the trucks empty, the grain carts empty, and then we're gonna be moving fields. So uh, we're gonna move one of the tractors and grain carts up to the next field, come back here, hopefully the fog and the dew's burned off, and we'll get started uh, harvesting corn here and see where the day takes us. sun come out and it did not take long for the dew to burn off so it looks like we're in for a pretty nice day figure we got about uh, four rounds here at this field and then we're gonna move about seven miles north of here back in uh, Dark County Everything moved up here to this farm up in Dark County. We're just outside of Wayne Lakes here. This field was planted the Saturday and Memorial Day weekend, and this field was no-tilled. And I remember I did a video of this field, and there were some weeds and stuff in here, and some people had asked about it. Well, this corn just turned out great, and uh, talk about it later in the yield checks. But still see those green spots there. That's something we're just battling with this year, where a lot of the fields dry, but you still got those green spots, and them are not replant spots or anything like that. But uh, anyways, uh, it's getting time. We've got to get this corn off. And there will be a family in Arizona watching this video that's going to know exactly where this spot is, as he grew up on a farm just down the road from here. And see that corn on the roof of the combine? Well, we did that on purpose just for this video. Bet you can't pick out the guy flying the drone in this part of the video. 
field beside us here belongs to another farm and they had their soybeans off they had this chicken manure piled up out here and I assume this was a custom crew in here loading this out I don't have the model number of the tractor and so forth but anyways got to uh, see and smell this the rest of the day there's a lot of chicken houses just in the, the north part of this county and the county north of there so a lot of this chicken manure is a hot commodity and it's hauled out here in the soybean fields they put it on here and it'll be used for fertilizer for next year's corn crop That's quite the mobile catering system you I'll have here. Good, good. Oh yeah. Field, there was a little bit of trouble back at the drying bin. Uh, one gearbox went out of the grain auger here and made this mess and I forgot to videotape us cleaning it all up. But anyways we got it all cleaned up, got the auger fixed and uh, we'll be back in business here shortly. I've talked about it before so this farm when it comes to corn plants all specialty seed and Bill from uh, Specialty Seeds is here and we're gonna do some uh, yield checks right now but I got a new tractor coming here any minute, so I have to leave. But the specialty seed guy brought some swag. So I got some specialty seed hats, some gloves. I don't know, guys, are you going to judge me if I wear gloves? Like, uh, I don't know, I never wear gloves when I work unless it's cold outside. So if I have, like, gloves on while I'm hooking up hydraulic hoses and stuff, 
will people make fun of me or not I don't know I've never done it before so uh, I don't know I might do it for the video you know I got to test out the gloves I also got a pocket knife but anyways um I'm gonna head back to uh, where we're gonna unload that new tractor and you are soon gonna see what it is as you can see the red combine has not done any corn yet this year and here's the stack hand hopefully this year we'll get it out and make some loads of corn stalks So the tractor showed up today and uh, it's a versatile 365 come down from the factory. So I just got to get the duels on it, do the PDI on it and uh, get it out in the field. Let's take a look. All I got done so far was the drums on. Suspended front axle, front duels. It's my son's home from Utah. I got wedding stuff to do, so I'm going to have to uh, let this go till tomorrow morning. So hopefully on Friday morning we can get the duels on it and get it hooked up to the grain cart, get it in the field. They're calling for us a little bit of rain tomorrow. Uh, I got wedding stuff to do tomorrow. I can't work a lot of hours tomorrow or Saturday, obviously. But uh, all next week, hopefully you'll see this thing. Lots of videos with this tractor running in the field, pulling that J&M grain cart. With that said, that is going to do it for Thursday. October 10th, 2019. Thanks for watching, everybody.